Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, I have been getting so many requests about how I do my eyebrows, how I draw them on, how I do my full foundation routine and highlight and contour. So this video is strictly just focusing on that. How I paint the face before the rest of the look. So, if you notice in my other videos, I like to fast forward to eyebrows in full look. So now you'll see how I do my foundation. Highlight and contour. So, enjoy guys. Mwah! Alright guys, before I put on any foundation, I love to prime the skin. Now, depending on what kind of look I'm going for that day will determine what kind of primer I want to use. Now, in previous videos, you've seen me use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Base Primer. I'm obsessed with this one. So this is my go-to everyday Jeffree Primer. Now, when I want a little extra glow, a little extra dewy, I love using the Becca Backlight priming filter. This is like magic. I love using this with a beauty blender. If your fingers are a little too busy with leather gloves, you just go apply this right here. And I'm just gonna start dabbing it around and blending it over the entire face. Now as you can already see, it just gives you that more luminescent glow. Sometimes when I'm wearing no foundation, I'll just put this primer on because I love the way it looks. So now that that is completely on, it's time for 12,000 layers of foundation. Now my go-to every day, like for the past two years, has always been a mixture of two. I don't just wear one foundation, I love to mix. Now the reason for that is I just like the way things feel. I love playing around and just being at home and playing with makeup, I've discovered the mask that we all have come to love. So, step one, Dior Air Flash. If you've never tried this, run to Sephora right now after watching this and get a sample. It is like airbrush in a can. And then we're gonna follow it with mixing on top with the Beauty Blender, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I am obsessed with this. So we're gonna mix these two today. Step one, shake. This is an aerosol foundation, you guys. The Air Flash is very versatile. You can spray it on your hand and mix with a brush. You can spray it on a beauty blender, or you can just do direct, which is what we're gonna do today. So we're just gonna spray around. Get that neck, avoid my grandma. Now the cool part about this foundation is you have a little room to let it sit for a minute without drying too quickly. Some foundations, you put it on, after like 45 seconds, it's like starting to dry, and you're like, wait, I haven't blended everything yet. This one gives you some wiggle room and lets you have a moment to breathe. We've already had our damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna put this directly on here and I like to kind of like dot it all over my face so it has an even coverage. Not forgetting our neck and a little on the ears. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna blend, blend, blend. All right, now I can blend for another 12 hours, but that is the gist of it. Now, I don't like to do it too heavy under my eyes, so when I take my beauty blender, I'm just gonna soften the eyes a little bit more. I like to coat my entire face with MAC Studio Fix, and I've been doing this since like I was 15 years old. It's like my go-to thing. Today, we're gonna take some MAC Studio Fix, and you can apply this with anything. You can use the beauty blender again if you want. I'm gonna use this big, uh, Tom Ford powder brush. This is number 05. And I'm just gonna take this powder and start packing it over my entire head. All right, now we are ready to highlight and contour. So what I'm gonna do here is over the powder we've already done and our 12 layers of foundation, we're gonna take this NARS Kabuki brush, MAC Studio Fix, and we're just gonna take this and almost like an upside down triangle, we're just gonna start blending it all into the skin. I like to pack in the skin. So I'm not just like brushing it on, I am going into the skin to make sure that it does not move around. I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna move on to the chin. Always the chin, girl. Now because my nose is really slender, I don't wanna make it look too crazy. So I'm just gonna lightly dot a little bit down the middle, but not towards the tip, because we're gonna contour that in a second. So the first highlighting is done. Now before I do contour, I definitely wanna set under my eyes. 
I am just going to put loose powder under there and press it in and wipe it off. And now, powder that I love to use, this is a Chanel one. It does have a little bit of color to it. This one is shade Claire. Now, if you want no color, I love Ket Cosmetics. This is a translucent powder. It works phenomenal. I love using a damp beauty blender for loose powder. If you've never tried it, you're missing out. This shit is amazing. It like literally melts into your skin. So you just coat the beauty blender and we are just going to tap, tap, tap under the eyes. Now the reason for adding that loose powder over the highlight is because we want no creasing under the eyes. All right, now we are finally ready to contour this bitch. For contouring, I am obsessed with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. As soon as this came out, I was like, oh my God, it's the holy grail. I'm gonna be using the metal one. Clearly, uh, she's been used before, but let's contour. First of all, I'm gonna be using the Smith's Cosmetics brush and we're just gonna dip into that middle one. I like to slowly start blending right where that line is. And I'm just going to just start buffing that color in and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit on my hairline. Now, you don't wanna do it too far down where it's like almost to your mouth and you look crazy, so you do wanna stop it at a point. And I like to do it right below my eye. Now I am gonna connect the temples in a little bit, so I'm just gonna start buffing lightly up on there. All right, now, as these cheekbones are settling in, let's go down to the chin. Now I like to have really dramatic features, so I'm going to really cut this chin and jawline. And I like to bring up the color a little bit on the actual part of it and start dragging it out. And then I'm going to start creating a shadow under the jaw. So I'm gonna take the brush and do it under and just drag down a little bit. So it looks like, like defined. Like, hi, my face is carved out of granite. How was your day? We go and do it a forehead and this is where I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever brush. This is really easy to use. And we're gonna go into the middle color once again. If you have a little forehead, you are gonna to wanna to avoid extreme contour because you're gonna look a little wild. So skip the forehead. For us big headed hoes, we're gonna blend a little more up here. We're just gonna dip into only like 25% of the brush. And I'm just gonna start blending down. Now this brush is so soft, it just kind of, it worked. I was like, okay, we're gonna be a little innovative today. Now is where I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and soften those lines, because I don't want it too harsh. I like to add shadow under my nose because I don't want it to look like a ski slope, so we're just gonna blend and blend and blend. Now, if you want your contour to be set and not moving, we're gonna go back to that Chanel powder. We're gonna take her out, and this is where I'm just gonna take this little thing and Dot it over my forehead, dot it under my cheeks, pat it on my nose. Notice how I avoided the high planes of my cheekbones because I want those to stay chiseled. We have to set this. So even before I do my eyes and eyebrows and everything else, I do like to take the little Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and just do a little, let that set and we are done. Now I change my highlight color every single day. Um, today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Illuminator in Starlight. This one is really blinging and I am hooked on it. You can do the Morphe 510, which I love this guy. So let's use this one right now. Now you guys, you guys know I like to pack on my metallic glow. Like I want to be glowing like radiation poisoning. I want to be like 20,000 million stars in the sky. So let's get to glowing. Put it right where that contour and the white highlight meet and just kind of let them have a threesome. Now highlighters can accentuate your pores so that's why we used that primer earlier. I like to take this and go all the way to the hairline and a little bit here. 
All right, so we have the cheeks done. I love to add highlight right on my cupid's bow and my lips, especially if you're wearing a bold lip. It just really looks nice in photos. Now, I am not highlighting my chin. My jaw could literally like cut faster than Dexter, so we're gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna just put a tiny bit on my nose right here, not too crazy. And I like to add some highlighter above the brows that we are about to draw on. So now that I've gone back over my cheekbones 16,000 times, the highlight is done, so let's do our brows. Now it's time for the brows. Now, I get a lot of questions about this all the time because I've never shown how to do my brows before. Now, they are completely shaven off. I hand draw them on every single day, freehand them on. There is no stencils involved, there's no magic tricks. It's just practice. Now, in 10th grade, I shaved my eyebrows off for the first time and my mom and grandparents had a stroke <laughs> and they were like, what the hell? Uh, my grandpa said I look like an alien, which was, I was like, an alien? <laughs> yes, God. Now, when I do my everyday brown brow, I always use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Dip Brow. This is just my go-to everyday brow. Now, to start it, it's really simple, you guys. I just pick a spot of where I want it. Today, I am going to start where my tear duct is, and I always usually start there, it just depends on my height. So I'm just gonna take this and go up, and I'm gonna make a little dot. Now, this tiny dot that you probably can't even see is like my guideline. So now, I'm gonna take it, and the front of my brow is gonna be a little arched on purpose, and I just start to carve them out. And when I get to the tail, I like to thin it out so it's like ultra thin and the tail is like, hi, you wanna fuck with me? Now, after I have the outline done, I love to go over the brow with Anastasia Dip Brow. Now I am in shade taupe for both. And I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And I'm gonna be using this top middle shade. This is a Lazarus for the front of my brows to get that little ombre moment that I do. Just tap into here real quick. And I'm going to just back and forth, back and forth, put some of this on. Now I'm gonna go in with my dip brow. A little goes a long way, so do not go overboard with this product. I am just going to start it halfway on the brow and I just start finessing the dip brow into the outline. Ooh, lord, that's a bitchy brow. Last step is to take the mist and fix spray one more time. Let that settle in and we are done. All right, guys, that was the magic in the makeup. Now you guys know how I do my eyebrows, foundation, highlight, and contour. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been an amazing month already. I cannot believe I'm on YouTube. I have been holding out for a really long time. Um, and now I'm ready to take off the mask and show you guys everything. So thank you guys for all the support, all the feedback and all the comments. There is a lot more tutorials coming. Bye guys. Mwah.